Hey guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope that you are doing absolutely fine and your preparation for the USMLE exams is going really great. In this video, I'll be talking on a very important topic and uh, this would be like how to find mentors for research. You know that, uh, you know, with the USMLE step one being fast fail, uh, there is a focus on research and research is becoming an essential part of your USMLE residency application. So, uh, having said that, it becomes important, you know, for us, uh, for IMGs to do research and for doing research, we need guidance and the mentors are the people who provide you guidance and help you in publishing. So the question arises, like, where should we find the mentors? Like, you would be asking KSPD, what did you do? Like, where did you find those mentors in the initial time? Who helped you to, you know, do your initial publication? So I'll be, I'll be sharing my story with you and, you know, I'll be sharing what I did when I was at your stage and now, like fast forward to one year, like how I published five articles in a, in a year or so. So uh, like last year at this time, I had passed my USMLE step one examination and I was still an intern doing my internship. And somehow I got to know, you know, scrolling Instagram or something like that, that, you know, research is becoming an essential part of the application and you must have research. Honestly speaking, I had no idea about research. I had no idea like what research is. As I told you in my previous videos, I didn't know what case reports are, what, uh, you know, studies are or something like that. So what I did was that, uh, you know, like, like, most of us do the same thing like they go to their college professor or they go to their college seniors and uh, you know ask them like please help or help us in research uh, but believe me your college professors uh, most of them or your you know seniors they would be so busy in their own work that uh, they they won't help you you know that much uh, because you know like when you will approach them you will be still naive like you will not have a basic uh, knowledge like you know what abstract is what introduction is what discussion is what references are how to frame the references and all that stuff and they won't have that much time to you know teach you all the basic so you 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 will need to find someone who is on the same boat or probably one or two step ahead of you who can agree to you know show you the path and uh, also you know show you the methodology like how to you know write research or something like that so the idea becomes that we have to find those people exactly those people who are willing to help us and uh, with whom we don't feel that much of difference i would say academic difference that okay i can ask uh, he uh, him or her a question and uh, he or she will not uh, you know uh, like be hesitant to you know guide me so what i did was that i used to go to my professor i used to go to my seniors but uh, like honestly speaking they don't they didn't had that much of time so i knew that i had to find mentors like who will help me so uh, so what I did was that, you know, I used to scroll telegram, I used to scroll Instagram to find, you know, people. So fortunately, once I was uh, scrolling through the telegram and I found that, uh, you know, that uh, there was a research initiative called as auto research initiative and I still talk with those people and they were great people. And it is an initiative which is run by Dr. Sh uh, Sharon and Dr. Avantika and they have, you know, mentored so many people. But, but here I am not like promoting auto research initiative. Let, let, let me be clear. I am just giving you that there are platforms which are helping people. Auto research initiative is one of them. And uh, it was uh, my first interaction with those people who, you know, who opened the ways, uh, opened the door to research. Like there are case reports, there are literature review and something like that. So, so the, so the take home point from this story is that uh, even Instagram can help you to uh, reach out to people like the way it did to me. Another mentor uh, was also, you know, which I found on Instagram, you know, and she helped me publish my literature review. So once I was scrolling Instagram and I found her page and I directly texted her that, you know, I, 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 I want to do research, but I don't have enough knowledge. Would you please be willing to help me? And she said yes. 
so the same thing applies to you if you find someone you know who is uh, you know active on instagram and uh, you know is uh, publishing research articles so you directly approach them and ask them in a very genuine manner that you know we want to do research but we don't know how to do it uh, would you please help us so this is the first point second point is on linkedin now what is this linkedin linkedin is a very important i would say uh, it, it is a very dedicated platform where you will find only professionals and you will do the professional talking so in the linkedin uh, you will find residents you will find uh, you know physicians all over the world and they have their own profiles and you can see their articles in their profile and you can approach them and you know say is there any ongoing project can uh, can you know you take us uh, in any of your project and uh, you know in the in in the meantime you will learn and you will have a publication so having said that telegram will help you instagram will help you uh, linkedin will help you but the idea is like you need to be proactive and uh, you need to be knocking the door of doors of people and believe me most of the time you will face rejection and that is what i faced like you know most of the people they said no or they will sell they will say um, you know okay when we will have a place we'll let you know and something like that uh, you know but uh, but you know you, you never know some of them will say yes when you work and they like your work then you know among your co-authors there will be someone who likes your work and uh, he or she will be willing uh, willing to you know take you in another project so that is how the networking start first you meet with three people then three people people will introduce you to nine and some and that is how the chain starts and believe me once you write your you know first initial few publications then you will be um, you know ready to work uh, independently so that is what i did i i wrote two to three publications with other people and after that i felt comfortable writing the case reports and my uh, you know uh, recent three case reports they all are you know like written by me in the, like not by me but you know i am the one who has uh, you know uh, conceived that idea and you know did the most part of of it so the same thing can apply to you if you uh, if you are a knight then there is no problem being a knight everyone starts from zero you look for people you do your initial few publications once you do your initial publications believe me you will have a network and there will be projects coming so after you ex uh, you know acquire experience uh, you will be uh, you know comfortable enough to write your own uh, articles or you know become the, becoming the lead author that is how everyone starts and that is how you will also start and eventually learn so this was all in uh, today's video for more videos like this do subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, um, you know i'll try to make uh, videos quite regularly but you know i have been really um, busy in the job and in the preparation so that's why i'm not that much active on youtube but still thank you so much for supporting me